Hey guys, Future Man 19 here. I'm um, coming at you with another uh, great story from CERN. Um, apparently, they have discovered what they call a ghost particle um, in the Large Hadron Collider. Um, and this was this is pretty recent. It was announced on Halloween of last month in 2018. And so, you know, of course, Halloween, right? Like, they love to, you know, announce whatever they're doing on Halloween. And so, uh, let's go ahead and read a little bit about this article. And I'm going to, you know, I, I'm doing a vi this video a little differently than my normal videos. Um, I've been uh, kind of sitting on this, this news for a few days now, and I just want to to get this out as quickly as possible you know while the story is still fresh and um, <clears throat> because uh, basically um, what I'm gonna you know tell you in this video is it's all like all of this is gonna confirm like what I've been saying to you guys and um, I know if you guys have watched my videos in the past I know they're they're pretty crazy and you know far-fetched and whatnot but I'm um, just you know just uh, be patient with me and bear with me because uh, it's, it's sort of like I'm, I'm trying to give pieces of the puzzle of the bigger if you think of like the bigger picture as a as a giant puzzle I'm trying to give you piece by piece and it's hard to get these videos out like honestly with you know what I'm doing in my personal personal life and whatnot um, and I do spend an awfully, um, a, an awfully, um, large amount of time on these videos. Uh, I think on average, I probably spend like 30 hours, uh, in creating a video for you guys. And so I put a lot of time and effort into it. Um, and so, uh, this video obviously is going to be a little different. Uh, it's going to be that more of just kind of kind of just see how it goes right so uh, you know no script or anything like that I'm just I'm just uh, giving it to you straight right now so let's go ahead and uh, read this article and kind of you know see what see what they found right so something terribly new goes bump in data you know they're going off that bump in the night kind of theme something terribly new you know, you gotta you gotta really pay attention to the words that they use. You, you know, uh, is yet to be confirmed by Atlas Detector. They say yet to be confirmed because really they don't want to confirm it. Okay, and <laughs> they don't want to confirm it because you know uh, it was it was just last year that you know they they basically said that you know ghosts ghosts don't exist because otherwise we would have discovered them by now you know and that story went around and it, it pretty much you know throughout the whole scientific community and so everyone was like okay yeah you're right like spirits ghosts you know even God doesn't exist because wouldn't we have you know discovered them by now <laughs> like as if we can, as if we know anything, right? Like we barely know about even our our own human history. Uh, it's funny. Um, I'm sure you guys get this all the time, of how you you see an article that's like shared on Facebook or Reddit, saying how you know this discovery by these scientists or you know whatever. Um, people that they discovered this ancient artic artifact or ancient you know skeleton of a human that that's gonna rewrite history right like you probably like f for me you know I'm connected with a lot of people and I get a lot of these kind of crazy stories and so um, I probably get this like six to eight times a year I feel like now uh, especially with all the discoveries going on um, and so it's it's funny to me because like we we barely even know our own history um and and so we're we're you know right now we think oh look at us like we know everything we don't need god we don't need uh you know to 
whatever like we don't need the promise of to be a spirit like so we don't need to be spiritual if there's no spirits then why do we need to be spiritual we could just do whatever we want here because we're just going to go to nothingness and so they try to to scare you know they try to drive that fear into you that like oh you're going to miss out on something or you know like you're afraid so you have to basically you know you become selfish and so let's let's just listen um uh yeah let's let's just go ahead and listen to this to this video and so you can hear from their own mouth, you know, what they say. If we want say. some sort of pattern that carries information about our living selves to persist, then we must specify precisely what medium carries that pattern and how it interacts with the matter particles out of which our bodies are made. We must, in other words, invent an extension to the standard model of particle physics that has escaped detection at the Large Hadron Collider. That's almost inconceivable at the energy scales typical of the particle interactions in our bodies, and so we need not discuss this further. Does anybody object to that at all? No. Excellent. Carry on. <laughs> Well, for the purposes of balance, Brian, I'm sensing that maybe someone over there <laughs> is perhaps they've got to have a spiritual sense or they had a father who liked cheese. <laughs> so, no, wait, just, uh, Brian, if I understand what you, said, what you just declared, you, you just asserted that CERN, the European Center for Nuclear Research, disproved the existence of ghosts. Yes. Okay, just... <laughs> That because was the main reason I think it was built. I think that was the, the first way, yeah. Oh, really? Okay, so Brian, Clo Brian Cox, he's, you know, a very famous scientist at, at CERN. Um, you know, I think is basically one of their main spokesmen. Um, <laughs> and you hear it at the end, you know, right? Like, oh, that's, that's the main reason we built it was to disprove ghosts basically disprove uh spirits disprove the existence of god because you know obviously if there's no spirits there's no spiritual side to anything so that means there's no god um and so he he pretty much declares right there that uh that was the whole reason that cern was built was to just basically prove prove that oh none of these things exist you're all silly for believing it it's all silly, silly, silly. And this was just last year, okay? This wasn't like 10 years ago that he's claiming this. This is last year in February, okay? Um, and yeah, like I said, like this, this story went around all over the place. So I have a lot of different um, sites that I looked at. And so everyone, you know, knew about this, right? And and so, yeah, here's, here's another one. If, Ha ah, ha ha, so very funny, right? Um, and so this year that they announced on Halloween, scientists at CERN may have detected a new ghost particle. <laughs> so do you see the kind of hypocrisy or <laughs> like, why would they name it ghost particle, right? Like why do they name things the way they do? Why do they name things the God particle or you know like projects like open sesame or atlas or omega with the alpha symbol you know <laughs> next to it so omega alpha you know they're everything that they name and you can see uh, i have a video on this that goes into extensive detail of every single project and what the symbolism behind all these strange you know things that they name they're, it's either their machines that they have or a projects that they're working on and they always name it these things right but I honestly believe that this ghost particle could is actually uh, the the proof of the existence of spirits and I'll and I'll show you why going through these articles so this is very recent you know like I said a week ago and you know, when I get through this, I'll show you that everything that I've been uh, saying and uh, in all my videos, you know, you know, I started this YouTube channel uh, last year, um, and that was before the Great American Eclipse, and there was a lot of uh, sort of buzz around the spiritual community of 
of things happening around 923 and 923 kept coming up on in everything and so you know i i put a lot of research into that and you know of course i've always been a huge conspiracy theorist and just like to know what's going on in the world in general and so um so yeah i i put my first videos were all about 923 and why that date was so important and i and i explained clearly you know what was going to happen on that day and and when <laughs> and when i when i f am finished with this video uh you know i hope that you guys realize you know what i'm saying even though it sounds crazy and weird and whatnot like it's actually happening uh these things are actually happening and and I don't necessarily know, you know, what what it means, but I just know that it was told to us in a way that it was going, like these things were going to happen. And so I've, I've been waiting for them to happen and looking for these things to happen. And, and now they're happening right before our very eyes. Um, and so let's read a, a little more on this article. Uh, here's another... Uh, rendition of what this ghost particle can look like. Oh, it looks very, uh, <laughs> hmm, you know, you got, it looks pretty spiritual to me. You know, it kind of looks like if you thought of like an angel, right? Or like some sort of spirit as like a, even, uh, looks like a six pointed, you know, star, like, you know, Metatron's cube showing up, right? Uh, and then if we look at the first one to see this is another rendition so you see like it has all these rays or arms uh, sort of sort of coming off of it right so uh, let's read on um, scientists are trying to work out if a strange new particle dubbed a ghost particle has been detected at CERN's Large Hadron Collider in Switzerland Using the compact muon solenoid instrument on the particle accelerator, the team said they had seen a signal that could be a particle that's twice the mass of a carbon atom. So remember this compact muon solenoid. Okay. Um, and so, you know, basically, you know, they found this particle, but they don't, I mean, it doesn't fit into their standard model, right? Like, of course, just like how our, our history has always been rewritten, so is science. And that's why it's, you know, funny to me, like, you know, I love science and, and what they're trying to do. But, like, they would get so much more done if they didn't, weren't, like, busy just trying to uh, disprove the existence of things. Of, like, trying to disprove, like, faith or, you know, God or spirits or whatever. You know, it's like... Why don't you, why aren't we putting our time into like trying to, you know, <laughs> you know, obviously, you know, things like find the cure for cancer or like, you know, find out how to get to Mars or, you know, find out how to save the environment. But no, we're like spending all this, <laughs> all this money on CERN and they're even building a 30 times larger, uh, you know, large hydrogen collider. Um, right over CERN, right over, you know, the old one, it's going to be 30 times larger than it. And it's like they're spending all this money to try to disprove the existence of uh, the spiritual side of man, basically. Um, and, of course, they're never going to win that game. We're, we could get as many as, as we can make one 300 times larger collider. We can make, you know, one that goes around the whole earth, right? And it still won't be enough to penetrate and see what's going on because because I just if you if you really can see everything and like what's going on like you would your mind would be blown like it's like there's no end to anything there's no beginning there's no end it just goes around and around and around eventually this is one of my my theories is you know eventually that you know if you build a, te a telescope that could go the furthest any te telescope can ever go like you'll just be looking at yourself 
like through the through the telescope like if it zoomed all the way out and in and through the <laughs> and pierced everything like you would just be looking at yourself uh and so like that's that's just you know one of my like how i view things like everything is is a part of of everything right like the whole, if you look at the universe it's a big it's a big puzzle you know the bigger picture is just a puzzle and this is why i created this channel was to put to give you the pieces of the puzzle so you could see what's really going on so you can see the bigger picture and so i yeah i started with 923 and i i said something is going to happen on this day on either 922 923 something was going to happen and and something did happen so uh and the, and this all is going to tie in together i'll show you yeah so so cern found this new uh ghost particle and and you know let's continue reading and this the scientist says but it's strange a mass that has formed where no mass was expected so basically just appeared out of nowhere right like they already said last year they all declared that oh ghosts weren't real spirits aren't real god's not real and oh all of a sudden what just happened you know something like if you could think of magic <laughs> like this is the only way we could describe this right like literally magic where something that wasn't there just popped into reality okay like that's what i'm saying like this is this is strange right like they said strange um so and it, continue on this isn't the only particle news that they they've had this year and this is um just talking about this year okay in fact this isn't even the only ghost particle news we've had because in july of this year astronomers announced the discovery of neutrinos coming from an energetic galaxy four billion light years away okay so it's coming from neutrinos Remember this, neutrinos are coming from a galaxy that's 4 billion light years away, okay? So remember that. And perhaps more relevant was the news from September this year when scientists suggested they broke the standard mod model, okay? So they they're always, you know, we're always rewriting history, we're always breaking the standard model because we just we just don't know like if we just admitted that we don't know we would learn so much more you know but since we think we know everything we can't learn anything more um with the detection of ultra high in energy cosmic neutrinos okay so neutrinos using the antarctic impulsive transient antenna okay i'm pretty sure this was the one that was uh named satan but they're like, okay, maybe that's too obvious. So they renamed it Anita, right? <laughs> and uh, they just, you know, obviously, if you just replace the I with an S, rearrange the letters a bit, oh, it's, it's Satan again, right? Like, they, they make it so obvious. Um, and so in March, there was news of the weirdly named Skyrim. Skyrim on, you know. Skyrim, okay, so do they play the game or something? Uh, a particle with ball lightning like pro properties, okay? Okay, ball of lightning, a particle with ball lightning like properties, remember that. And also in September, results at CERN hinted at a particle that seemed to defy the standard model, okay? So so this new ghost particle discovery her heralds a new era in astron astronomy. So not only in is it breaking the standard model, it's also bringing about a new era in astronomy. So it's a huge, huge discovery. Like I, I might not be the best one to like, 
you know, really, um, you know, to really be the one that's like, this is really important, guys. Like, you should really listen to what's going on. Uh, but, of course, you know, like I said, if you compare the stories from last year of, you know, how they basically disproved spirituality, of course, that story gets thrown around everywhere and everyone knows about it and everyone talks about it because, you know, they that's what they want. And, and then this... An incredible discovery they don't even it's like barely like I follow CERN right like really closely I'm, I'm someone who follows it because obviously I make a lot of videos and have to be keeping up in what they're doing uh, but they've been quiet for some time so I didn't really haven't been paying attention and I found the way I found this uh, article was through another YouTube video random you know YouTube video on CERN that I was just watching that was that was pretty new and it showed it and I was like what the heck how did I how do I miss this right so like even me someone that's been following them uh, you know it, it's been missed by me so um, so let's read what they have to say here so in two papers in the journal science Scientists describe how they located a source of neutrinos 4 billion light years from Earth. It's an energetic galaxy known as a blazar called TXS0506, okay, which has a giant spinning supermassive black hole at its core and fires out twin jets. And so from what I understand about you know what we've been saying about cosmic rays is that cosmic rays can only come from two sources which is the Sun and black holes and you see the <laughs> you see what I've been like trying to say to you guys is like the duality here right like okay only two sources right like heaven or hell like sun or a black hole like your choice you want to go to eternal darkness or eternal light which you know obviously eternal darkness black hole and so these cosmic rays which are you know these neutrinos that they're finding now that is not matter but they can be not they could not be there and then turn into matter like they're there and we can't see them with our standard, you know, fitting into our standard model because our standard model model says, oh, there's no spirit. There's no of this side that you can't see, you know, that everyone's talking about. Uh, it's not there because we can't prove it, right? Like, that's a logical fallacy. Like, oh, since we can't prove it, you know, with our utter intellect that, you know, as humans have, like, we can't prove it, so obviously it's not true, right? Um, but now they just found a week ago on Halloween that neutrinos are, you know, basically are kind of describing a spirituality, like things that aren't there but can appear, right? So, um,. So let's you know continue reading on because it's all very important. So on September 22nd, 2017. Okay, if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys probably know that I've spent a lot of time talking about 923 of last year, 2017, and how something was going to happen uh, on that on that date, um, and so. And so this, you know, this discovery happened on September 22nd, you know, 2000, 2017. You know, depending depending where you live, it could it happened on like I said, like it would happen on the 22nd or the 23 depending on where you live. That the ice cube observatory at the South Pole and if you have watched my previous videos as well you would know that how I linked the um, you know the Arctic to um, where they had a, a symbol for a, a marker down there uh, that something was gonna happen on 923 as well 
and here we go. Um, so this ice cube, you know, of course, <laughs> the cube, you know, comes in like if you guys have, you know, again watched my videos, you know that they they like to mention the cube a lot um, for for you know because basically they think of uh, our 3D world as the cube and so we're in this cube or matrix or whatever and they're just you know and they worship it right they worship this life they don't want to go to heaven or hell they just want to stay here and have fun and so that's what the cube represents um, and so ice cube you know f funny name right ice cube also a famous rapper uh, so that it discovered an incoming high-energy neutrino this advanced detector has a real time alert okay so so again neutrino um, like I said so so this this observatory finds this neutrino that on the date that I've been mentioning so much that something was going to happen, right? Specifically, that uh, that you know that something from a black hole was going to get pulled through this current in space that only aligns every you know two thousand odd years, right? and that CERN was going to take advantage of that and pull something out of a black hole okay and like I said these these cosmic rays these neutrinos are coming from the uh, cosmic waves uh, and yeah and then you know they become um, something or they they come from nothing and, and then come from something right they come from darkness and then they turn into something right it just when it hit when it hit so yeah let me uh now this is a video of that you know recent article and here yeah let's let's just go ahead and read this so for the first time scientists have been able to trace the origins of a ghostly subatomic particle that traveled 3.7 billion light years to earth the tiny high energy cosmic particle is called a neutrino and it was found by sensors deep in the antarctic ice in the ice cube detector scientists and observatories around the world were able to trace the neutrino to a galaxy with a supermassive rapidly spinning black hole at its center known as a blazar the galaxy sits to the left of Orion's shoulder. Now, if you have watched my videos, you would know that I have talked about how CERN, how this black hole, how it was all connected with Orion, because that's you know that's that's the the place. You know, like the the pyramids were even pointing towards uh, Orion's belt, right? All the th the three great pyramids of of Egypt are at one point um, directly linked up to Orion, right? And you know, and if you if you study the pyramids, you know, and really get into it, you'll you'll learn that they're actually aren't just like some you know dead man's tomb or, or pharaoh's tomb or whatever right like there's more to it than that it was actually an energetic machine and i could even post proof about that um but you could find the proof yourself it's it's certainly out there uh so i won't get into it in here but how everything uh, this sort of like dark forces are always like connected to orion like something about orion they're just obsessed with like it's either where they came from or something is you know from there um, and so there's this supermassive black hole at its center uh, that this particle 
this ghostly subatomic particle traveled 3.7 billion year, light years to Earth. Like, 3.7 3 billion, okay. Um, j just to, you know, give you a comparison, like, I've been watching Star Trek a lot recently, and I've been watching Voyager, and if you guys know the story of Voyager, um, that they, you know, they got sent across the universe to another quadrant um, called the Delta Quadrant, and they were like, I don't know, to, to get home, it would it would take like 70 years or something like that like it would take a long time for them to just uh, travel you know the fastest that they can at warp speed um, it would take like a ridiculously long time you know basically like another like a whole generation would pass uh, before they got home and so um, and they were only like I don't know I think it was like 30,000 light years or something uh, from from their home and it's like okay so you know think 3.7 billion light years from earth like that's that's really far away <laughs> like who you know that's super far okay um, and so <clears throat> so something came from from there and they're saying this is so strange and this is just so unexpected and everything um, so let's go ahead and see what else they have to say about it uh, let's watch this video real quick okay so there's the current right coming out of this the black hole ghost particle mm -hmm. see huh. okay so it came all the way from this black hole there's the Birkeley current if you watch my video it, that's exactly how I described it okay it sent this thing this particle from inside a black hole and it shot it 3.7 billion light years directly at Earth, at in the Antarctic, of all places, where there was a, a specific satellite that was put there in 2010 for this reason alone. Like, they knew it was coming too. Okay, like, they don't tell you everything, but I'm telling you, like, they knew something was coming too, so they put up this observatory to... This was the whole purpose of them putting it up, was to detect this this lightning, this ball of lightning basically falling to Earth, right? Um, and so scientists say the discovery uh, heralds a new era of space research allowing the use of these particles to study and observe the universe in an unprecedented way so this is changing everything but if, you know I don't of course I don't think it's 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 being you know mainstream like people don't really know what this what this really means and it's funny like <laughs> I have I have basically the same image like that I that I shared uh, in my in my videos and this is exactly what I was trying to show like something was getting sent to our earth all the way from this black the center of this black hole like it just shot out like unexpectedly they say and and like what I'm going trying to show you is like through these articles is it's two different discoveries and the first biggest discovery was on September 22nd 23 923 that happened last year and now CERN is 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 uh, confirming that and so <laughs> this is never you know this has never happened before um, 
And so, let's see. Neutrinos are referred to as ghostly because they are extremely volatile or vaporous, particles that can pass through any kind of matter without changing. Kind of sounds like a ghost, right? They have almost no mass. They can travel through the most extreme environments like stars, planets, and entire galaxies and remain the same. Before new stars, the new studies only two sources have been found the sun and a supernova okay um, so cosmic rays the most highly energetic particles in the universe bombard earth from space their ionizing particles in our atmosphere were detected for the first time more than a hundred years ago in nine, nine, 1912 by physicist Victor Hess he determined that they came from space um, let's see See, and you see here that it's it's like you know lightning falling falling to Earth from a black hole. Black hole, black abyss, the black pit, the pit of darkness. You know, whatever you want to call it, that's what happened. Whatever was hidden in there, that should stay in there. Like, why would why would we need something? Um, that's 3.7 billion light years away from us the furthest possible known thing why would we want something to come out of it it come directly to us and when it hit when it hits uh, the Arctic ice like like the water uh, the you know water creates life okay so it hits it and this thing that had no mass hits the ice hits life and becomes turns into matter so it was like a ghost that like popped into existence right um and this and this observatory was built just to see this happen uh and let's see so the this ice cube detector you know they built it recently 2010 um and that's and this is why it was built to, to detect these ghost particles um, so look at they spent spent a lot of work on this right like 86 holes 300 scientists like this is a huge operation right and it's it's not I think the first time I actually heard of it so um, a lot of resources were spent um, on this on this project and they built it just in time <laughs> like you know that's it's pretty pretty wild if you ask me um, and so let's see so on September 22nd everything changed when the neutrino dubbed ice cube 1709 22a was detected beneath the Ant Antarctic ice cap it had an energy of 300 trillion electron volts so this is the image of it okay that the observatory captured <laughs> um you know i don't it looks alien that's for sure okay it does not look like it should be hitting our earth whatever this thing is um and so when a neutrino interacts with the nucleus of an atom, it creates a secondary charged particle, producing a cone of blue light that can be detected and mapped by Ice Cube's light sensor grid. So this is what it like it really looked like in great detail, like of of it going from just an energy signature or whatever into something that had mass. It has a lot of energy energy in it. Um, and so let's see further on, you know, okay, detections included NASA's magic telescope, like I said, like they they name things their their names are so creative. Um, all of astronomy is light. You see a star because photons, which is light, hits your eyes. okay, if I shine a light, on a table you won't see the light on both sides but with a neutrino flashlight 
a ghost flashlight, it will go through and you can see it on both sides. So this could like provide new technology for us uh, in the future. So this this article goes in a little, a little more in depth of what's really going on. Here's the a better image of what this observatory looks like. So pretty big operation. Um, they keep mentioning this date, of course, because that's when it happened. That's when everyone said it was going to happen. That's what I said. It, what was something was going to happen? That something from a black hole would be coming to Earth. Sat, you know, whatever. Satan falling to Earth, if you want to believe it in that interpretation. Or, you know, it's like I said. I don't know what's going to happen from it but something definitely did happen and it was exactly the way that I described it uh, and so see here's another picture of of it you know coming through this black hole something that's not I don't think you know things are supposed to escape black holes like I just that's why I said you know CERN, Cassini, Saturn all these things were linked the Brooklyn current it's all linked to this one day on 923. See, and look look what they say. A galaxy with a monster black hole about 100 million. Like, see, monster in quotations. Okay. Uh, 100 million times the size of our sun. So this is like, it's got to be like one of the first black holes, right? Oh, and like, like, let's just think, think for a second. Like, let's use our imagination. Like, let's think if God, like, had really had this war uh, with this entity known as Satan, darkness, or whatever, like, and God won, you know, how, and you can't destroy this, this thing. So what's the next best thing? Like, obviously, you can't just build a prison somewhere and put this guy in there because he's gonna escape. Like, what is the safest location in all of the universe a place where even light can't escape it and so you know obviously a black hole is that place like to me a black hole is like you know it's it's symbolic for you know the black abyss um, for the pit where you know you could say that the you know sons of perdition go where people that you know just do not want to follow the universal laws and they just you know go against God and everything natural like obviously they're on a very destructive path so they just go to this place you know and these are where all these neutrinos are and um, like I said, it only comes from two sources, you know, the sun or these, these, you know, black holes. Um, and so something from this black hole has escaped. And like, I really think this is like my deep kind of like understanding of things and how I imagine things to be like, if I, if I imagined like, okay, everything was just darkness at one at the very beginning of everything like everything is just dark and everything's dark and there's just an eternal darkness right and like somehow in some way darkness was just like it got bored or something right like if it's like and you can't even comprehend comprehend this thought but like of of nothing you know like you have no thoughts there are no thoughts there you're not experiencing this right now you can't be experiencing it because there's nothing there's nothing ever and ever will be there's even nothing of nothing you can't even describe nothing because there'd be nothing to describe like it's you can't even comprehend it right like that's what I'm saying like you, we can't even comp comprehend the concept of death like we cope with it but like since we don't fully understand it it always affects us in a sort of negative way 
and what I, what I believe is is that how can how can I be so like just like limited like how how is this all there is like what's the point like if if like if we just go to darkness like like my experiences experiences you know do, do they even matter and that's why a lot of these people that don't believe in anything they believe in nothing right um they just do whatever they want and that's what's happening with this world it's just people just doing whatever they want and not following the universal laws right um but it's just that's just here in this kind of 3d reality is there's just a lot of uh, that duality everywhere um so anyways getting back to the article uh let's continue on here um so this blazar is off the shoulder of orion um and as matter falls into the black hole, fast jets of charged particles emerge at right angles, making them massive particle accelerators. You see what CERN is trying to do? See, they're making, uh, basically mimicking the black hole, you know, uh, trying to mess with, you know, opening black holes and, and messing with antimatter. Um, and things like that and obviously they've learned how to do it because they've figured out how to how to open up this black hole four billion light years from earth and you know pull something out of it and so um, yeah these natural particle accelerators um, they could extend almost a million light years which is which you know he says is obviously larger than the particle accelerator at CERN, um, and so yeah, this particular and they go on to say this particular galaxy type is known as a blazar because one of the jets is trained directly towards Earth. Like, what are the odds that this supermassive black hole? you know that it's four billion light years away and exactly the date that I said that CERN will be able to pull something out of a black hole and it come to earth like what are the odds of that happening on that very day with this thing that is billions of light years away and it's aimed directly at us like what what are the what are the odds they must be astronomical right um and he goes on to say we are really in the line of fire we are staring into the eye of the monster so to speak and you and I can't you know, I keep saying uh, they choose their words very carefully. The eye of the monster, right? Like if we go back, um, oh, where is it at? To the yeah, to here, right? Like, do you not see this? This is this is supposed. Let me zoom up a little bit. This is supposed to be what it actually looks like this is what they built you know probably spent millions or billions of dollars to create this ice cube particle except or particle observatory in and in the arctic um just to take a picture of this thing and as you can see you know like what like what is this little thing here like it, it reminds me of like the eye of sauron right or like like an eye staring back you know this is all that or that eye symbolism comes from uh, it's all it was all pointing to this one event that happened on 923 of last year here's the observatory again um, this is what it looked like when it was falling to space apparently um, 
and so yeah the chance of this excess of neutrinos or the chance of this excess of neutrinos arising by chance is less than 0.03 percent he adds so the, like I said the odds are astronomical that all of this happened on that day and you know there's there's something going on like the observatory is picking up these ghost particles that are just unexplainably coming from all all the way across the galaxy four billion light years away and they're aimed directly at us directly at earth what are the odds so believe what you want but definitely something happened on 923 last year and now CERN is able to detect these new unexplainable particles that are changing everything that we know about science and physics and astronomy and just you know like and to me it totally confirms everything that I've been saying to you guys uh, you, you know you could believe whatever you want but again you know this I'm just showing you what I'm seeing and you know the dots that I'm able to connect and so yeah um, you know that's all I really have to you know say about that uh, here's one last little video you can see that here's another kind of how their data points it out I mean as you can see it looks it looks like the shadow monster right from like stranger things like all these little these tentacles or whatever coming out and this is apparently what it looks like So right anyway anyways guys uh this video is already pretty long so i'll end it here um let me know if you have any questions or comments you know i appreciate everyone's comments um but i would appreciate you know if you're if you're just gonna leave me a comment like oh you're stupid or you, you know you should you know like you know whatever like just something that's it's like if you're gonna tell me I'm stupid then at least tell me why I'm stupid not just say you're stupid like say why I'm stupid um, that would help a lot so just yeah if you guys uh, you know and then also follow me on Twitter future man 19 I do uh, post a lot of my thoughts um, that I have daily on there and so hope to see you guys more bye bye